Everybody know Drew Dow, he was there. Drew Dow. So Drew Dow, he can vouch this. So we we at the motherfucking Ath Hour, and one of the biggest celebrities that you ever seen is there. And one of the, 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 the old icon, I could say she was there, Shaka Khan was there. Okay. So they there, and you know what I'm saying, they wasn't doing nothing, you know what I'm saying, but it's a bunch of motherfuckers in there. And the biggest star that I'm telling you, we didn't see some of his biggest movies was in there blowing. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Look at the way that they ostracized the South during the time when he came up. He had reason to feel the way he did because he was dope coming from the jump. You said last time you loved Pocket Full of Stones. I did too. And and so when during that time in his career and during that time in the South, it wasn't on the South. It was maybe on the West Coast or the East Coast, but the South was not getting that type of traction, man. And I try to tell Go people look that. look at my movie, The Best of Both Worlds. What did Pimp say? He said, them niggas in New York, you know what I'm saying, they was riding trains and they had book packs. He said, we didn't have trains. We didn't ride book packs. He said, we was gripping on grain, gripping on grain yeah. and, and, and driving Cadillacs. You know what I'm saying, I me? Mean, you know, the South, my daddy from Mississippi. Yeah, yeah. My daddy's a player. Like, my uncles, they was players. They came to motherfucking Chicago and Milwaukee and fucked that shit up. They was the big... All you niggas know Greasy. This, this is my family. You yeah. know what I'm saying? These were the biggest niggas, you know? Big K, all them niggas, you know what I'm saying? From uh, uh, Pee Wee Fergus, them niggas, all them was country niggas, but they was killing the game. Damn. So... I learned from my own experience being with my father and going down there and fucking with my uncles now that the southern niggas was way slicker than the, the, than the northern niggas. The, 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 the niggas up north, Chicago, them niggas was slow. Yeah. Them country niggas was beating the shit out of them niggas, shooting them bad dice on them niggas and throwing that three car money well, off the road. They were paying road. Road. Road, man. They were wearing them niggas' ass out, man. <laughs> all them niggas, Fluky Stoke, all them niggas, them niggas from the south. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Larry Hoover from Mississippi. All these niggas, all the niggas that run shit. No, uh, the nigga uh, uh, Frank Lucas, that nigga from motherfucking uh, North Carolina. And Damn. you know why? You know why? And my daddy, you know what I'm saying? He basically broke it down to me. He said, Ken, down there, white folks didn't fuck with us. White folks didn't even like us. Wow. So we had to fend for ourselves. He said, we had our own grocery stores. He said, we grow our own food. We did everything. So they had an independent mind state way before. That's why Master P and Cash Money think the way they think. Because in the South, Niggas didn't really fuck with, you know, up north, you know, it was all this so-called integration, but it was bullshit, you know yeah, what I'm saying? It yeah. was segregated integration. Yeah. It was some bullshit, but the southern niggas, you know, that's why Frank Lucas went to fucking China, because he was used to going and get his own bread. He was used to go and get his own chicken. He was used to own his own shit. Niggas up north, they was used to getting everything from the white man. They was used to being subservient, you know what I'm saying? But these niggas, these southern niggas, and that's what Pimp C was saying. He said, man, y'all gonna respect the south. Yeah, he said. Yeah. You know, he said we got our own shit. They call it country rap tunes. You know what I'm saying? And I understood exactly what he was saying. I mean, he the one that made it cool to be from the south. Yeah, and then, you know what I'm and then if you if you look at it, I ain't trying to cut you off. No, you look at it, you got Jay Z and all these niggas. You know what I'm saying? Getting Bun B and niggas from the south to rap on their shit. And then and, 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 uh, Jay Z was even on that juvenile shit, that hush shit. Yeah, he was. He did the Jay Z was the first nigga to recognize the south as being some players. And then all the other niggas, they gradually oh, they got followed. it. You know what I'm saying? Gradually, because they they looked at y'all as being country and slow. And you know one but thing that, about that it, one never that wasn't the case. And we didn't uh, during that time. We didn't, we wasn't trying to hear it. You know what I'm saying? You had Big Mike. What's happening, my nigga, my nigga, my nigga, my nigga, my man? Once again, I know what you're thinking. Once again, I know. You had, uh, you had, uh. Big Pokey. Uh, you had Big Pokey, of course, but you had. You DJ had some Screw. You had a bunch of niggas. You had uh, D, Slim, D Red, yeah, Slim yeah. Thug. You had, but, but before that, you had Big Mike. Little Kiki. You had. Yeah, you gotta say Lil Kiki. But I'm going before that because yeah, I'm an older nigga. 8 volume JG. 8 volume JG. Now I was broken for motherfucker. My life at the end. See, my so-called friends, they had no ends to lend me. Now yes. Suave House. Suave House. Uh, Mr. Mike. Now who got love for them ballers and them so-called Gs? Turn around, let me fix your collar. Y'all get love with me. Mr. Mike. Yeah, you had some player people, some dudes that was really putting down some rhymes, and the niggas in the East Coast and West Coast was not the trying to hear Gunshots rang out, niggas ducking. What the fuck? Seen this nigga bite the bullet and damn, fucked him up. The ghetto boys, but the ghetto boys were different. They were universal, even early on. They was killing them niggas. Yeah. Everybody had to respect them. But I'm just saying, the way that they looked at us back during that time, they were not trying to give us no recognition. And I understood Pimp when he said, quit hating the South. And I understood when he said, you know, y'all gonna have to respect the South. I, I totally got it. 
because I knew where he come from. You got to remember, man, man, this man rolled together. You know what I'm saying? This man a player. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, he's like a player. Pimp C's a real player. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I told you, you know what I'm saying? I, I get, I get, you know what I'm saying? Man, I, I, gotta, I gotta get myself in trouble. I gotta quit talking to this bike. But, you know, I just put it to you like this. Everything these niggas think they know, Pimp knew it backwards. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the man knew about all that shit, the killing, the dope, the pip, and all that shit. He was well abreast with this shit. He wasn't just talking shit. He was really, you know, down with the shit. You know what I mean? So I respected him, man. We didn't, man, we didn't been in many a clubs, just me and Pimp C. This one, he was the superstar. Yeah. And we'd be by ourselves. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we had no security, nothing. And every nigga in the club would run up to Pimp and give him a hug and, and be showing him number love. And Pimp, you know how he is. You know, man, no fingerprints, you know, no evidence. You know, this, hey, it's nine kind of stuff. Hello, Pimp. You know what I'm saying? He, he go through that motherfucker like Goldie in the Mac and shit, right? I was like, this nigga, man. I should have asked. I didn't ask Mike Jones, but I asked you. When you heard Pimp C saying, I'm, I'm going to this, this the, the cocaine thing, where he said, you heard me right, we play with our nose. Everybody took that, and you know, of course, he was going through his through his struggles or whatever. What did you think when you heard him say that on that song? I seen it. You was there. No, I'm I, I knew Pimp. Oh, I you knew, seen it. I, you I, was there. I, you I knew, you knew his lifestyle. I knew he yeah. get, I, I'm telling. I was around him all the time when he went when he caught the case. At, at, he had a bag of dope on him. So you knew when he said that he was just letting it be known. I ain't tripping. Well, you know, a lot of motherfuckers don't understand is that Pimp gonna keep it real. So him telling motherfucker he get high or something ain't got nothing to do with how you feel about him. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, like I said, you know, I done been in circles, you know, where I seen motherfuckers. I went, I tell you something, and I can't, I'm not going to say no name. And y'all can laugh. Y'all know I be around a lot of celebrities, but I'm not going to say no name. But I'm in, uh, my man Doobie, may he rest in peace. Yeah. I mean, we, we in, we in uh, motherfucking L.A. on Crenshaw. Everybody know Drew Down, he was there. Drew Down. So Drew Down, he can vouch this. So we we at the motherfucking Ath Hour, and one of the biggest celebrities that you ever seen is there. And one of the, 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 the old icon, I could say she was there, Shaka Khan was there. Okay. So they there, and you know what I'm saying, they wasn't doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? But it's a bunch of motherfuckers in there. And the biggest star that I'm telling you, we didn't see some of his biggest movies, was in there blowing. You know, in front of everybody. He didn't care who seen it. I mean, that's their circle. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of niggas use blow. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas was getting high. A lot of niggas, you know, fuck with their fuck with their nose. That ain't nothing that I mean, that's something to us because we grew up under the crack era. Yeah, yeah. But you know, even some of the biggest players fuck with their nose. That ain't nothing big. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, you know, that if I name this artist, would nobody believe. But I'm telling you, he got some of the biggest movies in the world. I was surprised to see him there. You like, damn. No, I'm just saying, you know. Just think about L.A. Ain't that many big, uh, it ain't that many big top flight uh, <laughs> actors. But one of your favorite actors, you know what I'm saying, I give them a little hint. He go all the way back to uh, Spike Lee. Go Damn. all the way back to Spike Lee. He you was know what I'm We're blowing. Hard. I mean, it was, a, you know, niggas was in there like, you know, it was just like some player shit. And the nigga Doobie was a player, so all the celebrities would come to his spot. Like I said, Shaka Khan was there. I was amazed to see her. Drew Down was there. Drew Down, a, a vouch for this. Niggas go there, you know, at that time, dude was a player. They go and get high and tripping, you know, because, you know, you can't, you know, it, it was in the hood. It's on Chris Shaw. Everybody know, Doobie know that his shit was on Chris Shaw. You know what I'm saying? Me, so me seeing... This particular actor there, I was like, I, it was tripping. You know, it, most people that know me know I told them about it. It was a, it was amazing. It was but crazy. now, but, but I look at him and I see him in interviews and shit. Now I can tell the nigga get high. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, because 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 he do this. If you if you look and you see a, a, one of those motherfuckers doing this, <laughs> they you know get to it. And he's, they a get big to it. he's a he get he get twenty million or better. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know who the fuck I'm talking about. Dang, you know who the fuck oh, I'm dang, talking about. Dang, right. I was and, 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 and Judah can verify that shit. <laughs> Let me ask so, you. So now niggas can't say I'm just capping. They couldn't too many people. Niggas seen the 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 the, the, the C tape, the tape I was talking about Pimp C, but the, you know, motherfucker Judah and Shaka Khan was there. So they know, you know what I'm saying, nigga. <laughs> and, and, and you know, man, my man Kenny Red, rest in peace, all them niggas, they know. They was there. No, it's just it's just player circles, man. Oh, they just know. It's player circles, man. In certain circles, man, shit happen, man. Niggas get high. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.